So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the online scene here for the final match of the Volleyball England Cup Final Weekend here at the National Volleyball Centre. It's now time to introduce the players, which I'm going to hand you over to our Ladies Master and Sermon. gentlemen, and welcome to the National Volleyball Centre Kettering. This is the final match of the weekend, the under 18 men's of the National Cup Final. Please welcome the teams of the court. In the red shirts with the black shorts, Leroy's all in black. Led by captain number six, Sam Thompson. Please welcome Boswell. In opposition, all in black with the Libero in blue, led by Captain Ollie Adam. Please give it up for Wessex Lee. Under 18 battles, then, ladies and gentlemen, here. Make sure you're watching online, telling your friends, get everyone involved here at V Ball England hashtag Cup Finals 2015. And make some noise for your teams. Tell them who you're supporting and where you are. Nick Grace. Following Wessex Leaf, he's got a former Cardiff Celts player, Billy Ewings, there. We're in the number two. He's looking forward to seeing him play. Please welcome the match officials for this final. The first referee, Joseph Gore. Second referee, Martin Shakespeare. Now let's meet the teams, ladies and gentlemen, in red and black. Serving first in the first set is Boswell's Blaze, captain number six, Sam Thompson. Number three, Matt White. Number four, Matt Catley. Number seven, Zach Chambers. Number 15, Lawrence Russell. Wearing number 17, Ryan Poole. And the Libero all in black wearing number 19, Marlon King. Boswell's Blaze head coaches, Darren Lewis. 
Now it's time to meet the opposition, ladies and gentlemen. All in black, they are Wessex Lee. The captain, number 10, Audi Adam. Number one, Will Van Wingerden. Number two, Billy Ewing. Wearing number three, it's Nathan Fullerton. Number 11, Joe Roberts. Number 13, Angelos Mandalaris. And the Libero in the blue shirt, wearing number 16, Harry Jones. Wessex Leafs head coach is Vandalis Katulius. So we are all set, ladies and gentlemen. Two strong under-18 teams here. You join us live on the online stream for the final game of this under-18 men's cup final. We've already seen Boswell Blaze defeat Wessex earlier at the under-16s. These are two totally different teams. Different mentality, different power around them. Even if you're sitting at home, hold on to your hats. In red, Ryan Poole playing up. And Zach Chambers, the captain from the under-16s, playing in the under-18s team. Likewise, number 13 for Wessex. Angelos Mandalaris playing as opposite there. For the boys in black. James Sully cheering on for Wessex as well. Billy Ewing seems to have lots of supporters out there online. Here we go, first point then. Captain Sam Thompson to serve for Boswells. Finds the ball out. Joel Roberts just gently takes the power off that, rolls it over. Captain for the England under-20s as well. Final year in the under-18s. Pete, what's your thoughts for this game? Well, first clean winner of the match. That's what I want. I want the game to be won with good volleyball rather than mistakes from the other side. Sentimental there, but I'm sure Wessex will take a free point like that for the poor receive. They'll take it every day of the week, especially if it's the last game of a national finals weekend. Brought to you live from the National Volleyball Centre in Kettering. Serve for Wessex. There's the first point for Bozov. Plays off the block. Two very well drilled teams here, Pete. Would have put a lot of work in the, in the last few weeks once they knew they were getting here. Knew what the competition is. Both coaches very shrewd. Will have a game plan in place. The very mannerisms are the same on the side of the courts as well. Get it with a serve. Joel Roberts known for his big power, but those two shots he's open with. It's just kind of feel, get the feel for the, the block, the court. And if he's going to open up with a big serve to side with a really go with a jump float. It won't be long. Uh, float Four. serve for him. Picks on Ryan Paul. Ball comes back out to him. Shuts out block by Fullerton. And Oddie Adam. That is a brick wall to get through. Ryan, Ryan Paul is going to have to start working across that. He's going to use, going to use that block instead of trying to go through it. Wessex pull out to a three-point lead. Early in the game. Sam Thompson finds the middle attack early on. Lawrence Russell. And Delaris with the backcourt attack. Zach Chambers trying deep there. The line players have to move out of the way. The boys in black celebrating hard. It's a really strong start here early on. Wessex in the black left side of the court. Joel Roberts, 11, with the serve. Missing area by Ryan Paul. This is how he started the under 16 competition as well. Just getting his eye in. Time out for yeah, it took him a while to Loads of tweets coming in. Loads of support for both sets of teams. Wessex seem to be outweighing it on the tweets at the minute. Even Jay Butcher sending a little bit of banter this way. Got himself a nice drink as well by the looks of it. All the way from 
Tunisia, around the world watching the final event of the National Volleyball Finals. Two teams into the court, five point game. Wessex pull out, 6 1. Once again, 11 Joel Roberts with the serve. Strong start, the will be a float serve again, he picks the line shot. Route pass there by Ketley. Well, the reaction late there by Lawrence Russell. Miscommunication in the Boswell team. They've yet to get a grip, a foothold in this game. Joel Roberts picks the same line again, straight down. Ryan Paul gets his first attack over now. There's the first attack through the middle there for Fullerton. It's not the cleanest, but he'll take it. Susan starts moving that block in there. Fullerton hits the winner. Straight down the center. The first technical timer of the first set. What a start from Wessex Lee. They need Boswell's plays. Ace one. So just while we have this technical timeout, I'm just going to got somebody else in the commentary box now. And I've brought in the talent and technical director of Volleyball England, but she also has another title. She was the GP London 2012 coach, Audrey Cooper. Thanks for joining us here, Audrey. So the reason I've dragged you and you're probably wondering why there's no mystery behind this one is we've got two massive teams here. Just tell me with your knowledge of these two teams, what's your thoughts on how the game is going to go? Well, I think they're both seasoned cup finalists. So I think uh, they've got experience of being here, um, either under 16 level or previous uh, under 18. So I think it's going to be a close one. I think Wessex probably have the firepower, um, uh, a little bit more maybe than uh, the Boswell guys. But uh, I'm hoping it's going to be a close game. They've been here all weekend looking out for the, the, the Shield games, the Cup games, and also under 16s and under 18s. What's your thoughts around if you talk about technical and talent director in your role at Volleyball England? What's your thought, your current thoughts around the crop of youngsters you've got you've seen today? Well, the whole of today has been fantastic from my perspective because in each of the finals, we've had at least three or four English players who are part of our talent pathway. So they're either doing daily training in our junior academies and or competing for our cadets in our junior England teams. So it's fantastic to see the talent. I think this has been probably one of our best final weekends in terms of seeing them starting to aspire to become elite athletes. And I think that's, that's a lot of hard work on their part, but also the work that the coaches are doing and the support of the academies. Um, to set up that daily training environment. With that in mind, obviously yesterday we talked about our final match that we had, the cup final of the men. 18 men on the roster from England, from Great Britain. That's for another move. So we're getting loads of international players coming in. We know Wessex we have a lot of international players coming in. But they're drawing in. We've got Billy Ewings from Wales. We've got Sam Reid from England. So there's lots of English players through there as well. What's your thoughts regarding these international players coming in, how they're developing our younger players coming through? I think it's important that we get uh, athletes that can challenge us and that can raise the standard of volleyball, so I encourage it. Clearly I want to see way more English guys out there, boys and girls, I think we are seeing that and I think the international players can help develop our own players because you know we've got to be realistic, you know the rest of the world are ahead of us or a good portion of the world are. So we want to beg, borrow, pinch and steal lots of their ideas, look at their talents, how they develop it, um, and bring that into our own program. So I encourage it, and I think over the years you'll start to see the there'll be more English players playing in our Super 8, which is our top competition, and we're starting to see that now. Guys that were part of our junior programs two or three years ago are now playing for top teams in the Super 8, so that's fantastic. Yeah, not only that, we're also the younger players now getting a digital coaching when they're going abroad. So we've got Ryan Paul playing second, his brother Robert Paul's over there, playing the last side. We've got quite a lot of people playing abroad and stretching. We've still got people from the Olympics, like Mark McGill and people like that, playing professionally abroad. So we've got a good brand, and you were lucky enough, obviously, to go and coach abroad. So we are building our brand of uh, volleyball, or our culture of Great Britain's volleyball in the world as well. Where do you see, when you look at these uh, under 18s, the under 16s coming through, what, what else can we do, or what could you say to the people listening online that they could do to the local clubs to start generating a bigger interest of people so we've got a bigger pool to start with? Well, right now, our talent manager, Andy Fawcett, is starting a new talent identification program. So we want to work with the clubs to encourage more kids to play and to find what I call the right athletes. 
many of which you can see on display at the moment. So we want to have a bulging talent pathway. So we want to work with the clubs in terms of how we do that, how we can go out and identify talent, put on open trials, um, and have a profile for an athlete that we think is what will make the best athlete in the world so that we can start to be choosy about the athletes that we bring into the sport. That's brilliant. Now, I'm going to have to get you to put your coach's head on because you've been coaching all weekend and I've been looking to done some of your training sessions with you. Now, you see Wessex currently leading 13-5 and you talked about power. So if you were Darren Lewis, what would, be, what would you be saying at the next technical time now? What would you be saying to him that he needs to do with his boys? I think a lot of it will be down to Sam, the setter, um, in terms of his distribution. Because obviously there's a big, Wessex are a big team. So we, he needs to work very closely with the middle players. So Darren will be talking to Sam, I'm sure, to try and get the middles involved. Also to use the middles as a deep point to open up the holes so their outside attackers can score. So it's a big ask, but I've got a lot of pressure on the young centre. Kind of what's just happened to Wessex. What you just said is what you want to do. Well, play for Wessex is just going to do exactly that as you're talking, which is brilliant to see. And by getting that, they get the, the block is going to get a groove in the mind. The middle is going to go with them every time as well. And we see. 15-5, you wouldn't have necessarily called this at the start of the game, but a lot of it's about the momentum, and even being 10 points down in Rally Point Volleyball, it's still doable to come back. Absolutely, it's doable. But we have to also remember this is the cup final, so there's a little bit of nerves, a little bit of nerves, the boys are feeling it a little bit, but now they've got to just drive and go to and take a few risks. When you're that far down, nothing to lose, take a few risks. So we see Sam, Sam Thompson lining up to serve. The crowd here at the National Volleyball Centre. And joining me, Mark Baird, who's with Laura Cooper at the minute in the box. As we go through to the next technical timeout, potentially at this point, Sam Thompson's now got the options. There's that middle that Audrey said about. Nails the point. It's almost like they heard you speaking. Just so you know, you can't see Audrey, but she's sitting here nodding. She's got a nod on and a smile on her face. This is why she was in the Olympics. Actually, let me just bring your attention back to the Olympic Games. Not the London 2012 ones. If you remember a couple of Olympics before that, you got to go and experience playing as well. Now, for the inspiring people out there, we just see Nathan Fullerton nail an amazing shot. Paid play for the area. What's your biggest memory of the from playing big volleyball in the Olympic Games? It was a victory to stay in the competition. We played uh, a Dutch team were our scrimmage partners, we knew them inside out, they knew us inside out. There was a lot of pressure on that match and we came out victorious. So that for me was a, the, the, the standout memory, having all our family and friends and people from England coming to come to watch in Atlanta and Scotland, of course, my family there. So it was just an absolutely fantastic experience and one that I will never forget. We had to dig very, very deep, which you have to do when you play at the top end. It's about the mental ability as well as the physical and the, the tactical and the technical stuff. So, yeah, that's probably the standout for me. I guess thinking about that mentality you got there, these kind of environments here, so we're looking at the Olympic flooring we used, for example, in 2012. We're looking at a big crowd of people here playing under these conditions. It's, it's kind of customising these guys to move forward and play in bigger competitions later in time and not have that, that fright, that fear, that confidence to go out and do it. That's right, and if, if we can give these young athletes as many of those experiences as possible, they're only going to learn from that and they're going to take that and that'll be part of their tool belt knowing how to win the big points at the business end of the sets and in big competitions like this. So a lot of the guys you'll see here will be playing in the NEVSA competitions and CEB competitions over the next year. And that, that too will give them that experience, knowing how to make that last point we just saw into a winner. Absolutely. Well, thank you ever so much for joining us. I'm going to Very welcome. let you go back and enjoy the rest of the environment here. I'll bring Peter back in here. Um, and then we're going to get ourselves a drink afterwards. Good stuff. So, that was Audrey Cooper just joining us quickly for a quick chat in here. Quite an amazing character when you see what she's done, played the Olympic Games, coached the Olympic Games, Peter, but also even knows to the bottom level here, looking to help develop this sport from the bottom level. So this game has just flown by, but there's been some amazing uh, atmosphere here being created at the National Volleyball Centre, but it's all been done because of what they're doing on court. Some amazing hitting, especially from the uh, Wessex boys. Some real clean kill shots. You can hear the gun load sounding. 
by our MC Dave Rogers. Anytime there's a clean spike, some amazing hitting. 18-7, blown by this first set. So Mandelaris with that serve, Sam Thompson get the distribution. Lawrence Russell in his final year in the under 18. Just takes it off the fingertips of Oddy Adam. Loads more beats coming in. Mixtures as well now, loads of Boswells and loads for Wessex. Leaf Elite Academy showing the superior height and power in the first half, deferring to Wessex. Bruce Pegler there supporting Billy Ewings. There's a prime example of what we're on about from the uh, left corner to the right. Clean kill shot, 19-8. Wessex lead. Those that have been watching volleyball for a while or have been around the volleyball scene will have heard the name Joe Roberts for a long time. And he just seems to not age. He's like the peak man of volleyball. But unfortunately, this is his last under 18 competition. So he'd like to go out on a high. That's a lovely one hand reverse there by Sam Thompson. That is beautiful. Well for the setters club there, Sam. You'll see many clips on YouTube of all these professional setters in the past doing ones like that. That was absolute beautiful technique there by Sam Thompson. Just officials just uh, checking the net. Make sure everything's a okay. 99, 10 point game. Lawrence Russell with a serve. Boswell. Will Van Wingerden following his footsteps with his brother earlier on. Gets some court time. 20 on the clock now for so Wessex. Andre Andres is a serving specialist. Coming on for Nathan Fullerton. <laughs> we'll call that personal commentator saying he is a serving specialist. That's normally my role, Mark. Sorry, I had to get one in today. So, 10-20. Zach Chambers. Great adaption there by Ryan Paul. He saw Sam Thompson was coming up to him to get that point. So he didn't get the full run up. Standing jump it was. And he attacks that inside combination. <laughs> Lovely work. So Ryan Paul stepping in. Almost a tandem just over the middle. Drawing that block. Ryan Paul nailing that ball. Not only is the noise turned up, but so is the power. Great defence there. Zach Chambers, the captain of the under-16s now in the under-18s team. But Ketley couldn't take the power off Mandalaris. The power I was referring to. 10-point game, 21-11, Wessex lead. Remember, it's first of 25 by a clear margin of two. Best of five sets in his final of finals this weekend. Too much power on that. Easy point for Boswells, they'll take that. Pepsi is down to nine. 21-12, Wessex lead. So from the right side in the red shirts. Ryan Poole into the net. Can't afford to give away the points, not with the power that Wessex holding their ranks. Brilliant tweet coming in from Frankie Moore. Saying Wessex volleyball is determined to take something home tonight. Hashtag not leaving home empty handed. Sam Thompson trying to go over on two. There is something around Wessex. They've got it on them. Whether they want this. Nearly added to the pancake count. Didn't quite get it, the fingers underneath it. No, nope, the pancake count for the weekend is still at six. But in this set, it's 23 to Wessex. Two points away from taking it. There's that middle attack. Matt White, unfortunately, couldn't quite connect. This is what Audrey was talking about earlier, getting that middle in. So every time Matt White comes in, the middle blocker, so it's Billy Ewing, for example, this time may be drawn in with him. Anything you can free up your wing attackers. You've seen Ryan Paul get one-on-one. -on -one. You know he's going to kill it. That's a brilliant short serve. 
Yeah. Billy Riggs with a free net, nails it down. What a way to take the first set. They go one of their first to a 25 to 12 scoreline. Billy finishing that ball well. Now playing with his hair tied back was part of the Wales squad. We saw Tom Dacey yesterday in the Shield final. Billy was part of that Wales squad that went off to Luxembourg. Had his hair down, looked a bit more like Sideshow Bob when he was playing then. That was the dominant first set by the Wessex boys. But we know, as you've already seen, Boz or Blaze are an established team. They've got a good culture around them and a good stock with their coach, Darren Lewis. He'll be talking about what they need to do. As you said, Audrey, you said earlier, they've got a lot of power in the Wessex team. How they manage it is what we'll see next. So don't be out there, it's hashtag cup final 2015. So send us your thoughts on that first set. If you were coaching Boswells, what would you do now? Send us your thoughts through at Football England, hashtag cup final 2015. Observations from the commentary box, looking at the, uh, the Wessex boys in black, look very, very relaxed in their huddle compared to the Boswell Blades in the red. Away to the left hand side. Two shook shoulders. Asking what's going on, what went wrong in that first half. Yeah, Wessex already on the line, ready to go. Using all the time. Fossil Blaze. Not only got shoes collision, Darren Lewis, but also Rachel Laybourne. She was part of Audrey Cooper's Olympic squad. So there's good stop there at Boswell's. Ryan Paul has only had a couple of winners. A lot to ask for two, two games in such a short space of time. Ladies and gentlemen, Russ about to get back in the win in the second set here. So the noise here at the National Volleyball Centre is starting to erupt. Let's get this game back underway. to the court. Oh, the Adams to serve. <laughs> Brilliant start. Great start for Boswells. Middle leg getting across to that block. They need, to, they need to start well in this set, do Boswell's plays. If they let Wessex get a lead, it'll be hard for them to peg them back. There's Mandalaris. A little bit late under the ball. Six just tips it. They got to the flexion. The block turned round. Didn't know they had the partner there. Bit of communication. So Thompson backcourt setter now for Boswell Blaze. They're going to have three attackers. Four attackers with the backcourt attack. Pops to go to Ryan Paul, he goes cross court. And Adam sets it out to Joel Roberts, who tries a little cut shot. 
You see the couple of teams try that this weekend, not be the most successful one. It's really tight to do. Get your hand up and over that ball. What's it so far going against what they were doing in the first set? Great point, it was a great serve. Pickup wasn't so good on the first touch. Oh, yeah, Adams quickly over. Chance of a free hit, but not given. So Ryan Paul will unleash another top spin. How high he throws this top and gets himself under it, measures it correctly. Straight to the chest of Harry Jones. Joel Robinson's got options, tips it to the centre. And then the reverse. Set there, Russell goes straight into Robert. Shuts out. There's a cool, calm swagger around Robert when he plays. Deficits reduced to one, it's 3-2. Uh, this time, it's Fullerton. Amanda Laris on a shutout block. The wall was put up and nothing get, was getting by that. Put it back down into the centre court. We're all tied at three. One nil set. Two Wessex. Well watched there by Fullerton. Now there's a roll shot. A lot of people standing watching that ball. Robert sets himself into the block. Can he then give Roberts another opportunity? Oh, two times on that set. Body Adam knows that. Fullerton went straight at that ball. He's a bit more height on that set. It's the Boswell's supporters. You can hear. Urging their team on. They need a good start. They've got one in this second set. <laughs> Anglos, Mandalaris trying to kill that ball too tightly. You can see his shape on there. He was trying to nail that ball inside the three meter line. Wasn't the right time or place for that. They now trail by two points. It's 5-3. It's good float serve. Pressure on. <laughs> Russell makes up for the previous block by Robert by nailing him. It's 6-3. We've got a three-point game here in the final. 6-3. Serve Roswell's base with a serve. That's exactly where you set today, the Fullerton. All about the power. His dad sat, sat at the back of the court. You can always tell when he's happy because he sticks his chest out with pride. Jay Gore. Jay lift, held ball. Mandalaris with the serve then, the number 13 for Wessex Lee. Just creeps over the net, that serve. Rescued by the blaze. <laughs> Tito Roberts came off. The blocker went wide. Point to Wessex, they're right back in this set now. Six all. with the serve for Wessex. A miscommunication on the Wessex side. Chance for the blaze. Gone wide, but it came off one of the blockers. Just the fingertips shown by the referee. Back in front. Go the blaze. That's well blaze in the red. Left hand side of the court. Russell with a serve. Good vision there from Thompson. Saw the gap in the middle of the court. And just palms it over. Brilliant. 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 Brilli
So technical timeout. Boswell's ways lead 8 6. Trail by a one set though. They've come flying back into this game. Quite worried here in the com box. What kind of start they were going to get in this second half, in this second set, if they were going to really pressurise this Wessex team who overpowered them in the first set, but they've come, I won't say blazing back into it, that would be too obvious. But the Boswell plays supporters in front of us here, making plenty of noise, encouraging their team on in the final match of this national finals weekend at the National Volleyball Centre in Kettering. A fantastic weekend. Hope you've enjoyed the live streaming. That's well place to get the game back underway once again. 15, Lawrence Russell. Six of four with the serve. That's set too far off the net for Roberts, ideally. Making it easy pickings it on that block. Lead grows to three. Just kept in by Wessex on the right-hand side. It turned to a good set. And the deflection of the blocker brings them to within one. Yeah. Dan Thompson finds the middle there of Matt White this time. No mistake. High hands held on that set. Fullerton goes inside the block. Hand time shown there from Fullerton. That's within one. Wessex never far away. This time, Ryan Paul plays across his body, shapes his going cross court, and then just swings his arm across. Takes that ball down the line. A great point to win. Each team will be looking to dominate up towards this next technical timeout. Wessex is struggling on this patch now, not getting the accuracy that we got in the first set. Yeah. Yeah. Of all teams, both teams trying to call for everything. Time out called by Vangelis. Well, Head coach for Wessex. So, Aidan Sutton just having a quick word with Harry Jones, known as Triple H, in the light blue shirt as Libro, just giving some advice. As we get the players to come back on court now. Just taking his eye off the ball on that serve. Complete misread. May have 
been distracted by something in the background or 13 9 the score. Missed just the flight. Loose ball on. Oh. Reset yourself and serve again. Here we go. Four point game. Ryan Paul's found his arm in again. Wessex are giving him the line shot as well. Boswell's Blaze family and friends are making some good noise here now. Rolls it across the block. Gets a little touch. Look at what Russell can do. Power through the defensive wall of the blaze. Back to him in four. John Thompson often go over on two. The ball's quite tight. This time, Mandalaris. Finds the head of Ryan Paul. But Ryan just decides to head that ball back down the line. It's a new tactic in blocking. Shows how high he's jumping. Thompson with the serve. And a free option now for Boswell. Third time, Ryan Paul. This time he switches, go cross court. Fires the ball wide. Back to a four-point game, 15-11, second set. Now to the far right-hand side. Van Windigan. Into the net. Loose serve there. Easy point for Boswell. Five-point game. Side of the net there by Wessex. Great reflexes. Mullen can really bring that back in. Paul plays it over. Options now is going to be a quick attack. Gone for the reverse. Using that reverse again. Then Joel Roberts gets the option. Looking for another free ball coming over. Time on the ball. What option will Oddie Adam choose? That's a one-man block. Billy Ewing draws the middle block. Joel Roberts has one-on-one. -on -one. Five hits cross court for corner. What a clean kill shot from 11. Roberts. Bring him back to him for 16-12, second set. Mandalara is very flat on that block, very straight. Making it easy for the wipe off. Yeah. 
Second time out for Van Gallet. For Wessex, score with 18 12. Wessex League 12, Boswell's Blaze 18. with the serve. Great defense by Eleven Roberts. Joel Roberts runs down the bench there, that one-handed. Two jousts. Good, strong, right arm of Joe Roberts. Time out call by Boswell. Time out call by Boswell. Blaze, they need 1914 in the second. Pick all the points there for the boys. The Might be one set up. He said Boswell's would turn up, and they have. Quite dominant at the moment. He's put pressure on the serve, making it hard for Wessex to get his first pass in. Without that first pass in, takes away some of the options. They've got these big combinations. They've used the middle well, but if the ball's not there, they can't do anything with it. Roberts trying to move away from that. Caught it just on his arm as it drifted out. So the man of the match for the under 16 competition, Daniel Sash, comes on to serve. Great big block there. Nice to see Tom Ketley forcing as he puts the Yank tune in. Looking very comfy there, boys. So, so the ball's going well over in. Out comes the USA Tom. Will Van Wingenden. And in comes number 14, Andreas Moskowitz. Hope nobody else is checking out your room on there on that picture. And here we are, back with action. 21-14. Joel Roberts through two, swings it. That cross court shot's working well for him there. Targets the ball over at one. Substitution is replaced Substitution again. Substitution for Boswell's plays. Out comes number eight, Daniel Sitch. In comes number 15, Lawrence Russell. 
Six point game, Roberts with the serve, right hand side. In the black of Wessex. Lots more support for Wessex coming through on Twitter. Likewise for Boswells. That's great pressure serve. Boswells now within two. Is that the lucky end? back to Sir, still set point down. It's 16-24. It's going to take some miraculous to turn this set around. Eight point gap, no need to panic. Four the point needed. The young Allen. Communication issue. And there's the second set. And we are all square. Boswell's hit the second set. 25. Turned there by Boswell Blaze, who said after the first set would happen. Wessex came out all guns blazing in that first set. And then Boswell's got the consistency, got the level required. And errors came in the Wessex game on the pass. See the erratic hits, cost them that set. Well, I just turned around here in Kettering, the first set, 12.25. But then, Boswell plays from flying back. Take a set to level up, one set to all. All to play for. The under 18s, drop final. Great game to end this weekend's competition. All these videos are being recorded and we've put on YouTube. That'll be our way of effectively having our own very own Dave channel. You can watch it over and over again. Changes coming on for Wessex. Number four comes on Samuel so Reed. Well, set a piece. Boswell's plays and Wessex think we're about to get underway with set number three. Boswell to serve first through number six, the captain, Sam Thompson. So Sam Reed replacing Billy Ewing through the middle. 
Young Samri gets his chance. Moves down to Wessex from Leicester. Not far from here, he used to play for Hermitage Volleyball Club. And look for Lions as National League. All right, Sam Thompson with the serve then. Here comes the free ball. Pushed on. Harry Jones plays that ball in. Reverse attack. Will Van Wingenden fires it well long. But such has been given. Of, uh, disbelief on the Boswell players there. They thought no one got a touch on it. That's into the net, there's no doubt about that. Level 1 1 in this third set. One set all in sets as well. The Boswell supporters are definitely happy with that serve going in the net. So, well, Paul. He replies with a serve of his own into the net. So a couple of early errors unforced in this third set. Both sides. Joe Roberts. Gets the touch off there, the free hit. It's a good block by Fullerton. And then it came up as a free option for him. Even with hands there, he's going to able to wipe it off. So Joel Roberts serves. Here's the backcourt attack. Tries to force that through using the foot. And goes out of play, gets the touch off the block. No mistakes that time. The ball shot up high and out of play. Yeah, no doubts on that. Big deflection off the block. Angelos Mandalaris there with a big swing through four. <laughs> that wide down the side of Reed on that middle block. Just one on one. Easy pickings for. The Boswell Blaze middle. <laughs> Sam Reed gets the first point, but he's not giving us a touch. He gets his first attack. Out of play. Somehow that ball manages to sneak over the net. Lawrence Russell looking to continue his run of serves. He'll take any of those serves every day. 5 4 Boswells. Bobson <laughs> with a very acrobatic celebration there on that big block. It was a huge block. Now Boswell's find himself in front by two, in front overall as well. <laughs> two there for Thompson. He urges the crowd to make some noise as Boswell leads 7-4. Great work there by Oddie Adams, over on two. Leaving it to the very last minute. Changes the shape of his hand, dump it straight down their court. So the setter makes his way back to serve. 
5-7. Oh, yeah, with a serve. Too long. A foot too long. Easy point for Boswell. He's the lead. Boswell plays leading Wessex lead to 8-5. Boswell looking a lot more relaxed in this set. A lot more smiles and laughter in this timeout. A lot more focus happening over with the Wessex bench. Kirk Pittman and Vangelis getting involved. A real turnaround here, Mark. Boswell really pulling the cosh in the first set, turning it around in the second, and now pulling away in the third. Definitely are that, as well as that. It's all the, the momentum it builds, so get the crowds involved. So sort of Sam Thompson's celebrations make the game, apparently. Alex Warnos just tweeted in. But quite rightly so, he turns the crowd, gets them involved, builds that momentum behind them. And the more you do that, the bigger the pressure builds on Wessex. Their team goes there, team goes quiet. And you've seen that, the pass has started to go short again. And also, it gets this really noisy Boswell Blaze support going. We're on in front of us here. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. The atmosphere generated by their support also to our left. Support from Wessex. Big serve from the back court. Into the net. Another point for Boswell. They go four clear now. Pulling away from Wessex in the middle of this third set. There's a definite change in the body language since the that first set. The Boswell's and Wessex have now almost switched to a lot of confidence. The boys in red are playing well. Good distribution there by Thompson. Cheeky reverse set over on the second touch. Great scrambling defence by Wessex. There's a time of straight in there by Ryan Hall. Brilliant combination work. Lots over the middle. Time right call by Wessex. Ball coming in. Very animated now, the head coach Vangelis get his message across. Very experienced coach, former international player both indoors and on the beach. Kirk Sutton forming up a big pull to down at the Leeds Academy. We have a lot of athletes that participate in the advanced apprenticeship and sporting excellence in, the, in association with Volleyball England as well there. One of the junior schools. Ball flight so far from there. Wingerton able to get his hand around it. Big shot out block, Sam Reed like that one. Pairing up with Joel Roberts, that'll do his confidence. A world of good, he's missed that one hit. Ryan Poole cleverly off the hand of Van Wingard and then. Leaving his hands open on the block, able to wipe off. Easy options for Ryan Paul. Oh, Jones touching that, looked like he's going way out. He reached up high to take it. Leads back to five for Boswell. Pulling clear once again in this third set. Matt White. Number three. 
one-handed serve. Handling that record there by Oddy Adam. The rotation of the ball gave it away when it came out of his hands. Got a bit clean contact. Errors are really cooping into the Wessex games now. All the momentum with the team in red. Good work again there by Robertson, Wickedon, able to get the swing through too. Pulling to replaces Harry Jones as the rotation goes round. Sam Reed to serve. 8-13 here in this third set. What a piece in this under-18 cup final. Yeah. Lawrence Russell finds a way through that block. In the story of this third set, whenever Wessex get a point, they can't back it up with another couple to try and close this lead. Back out to six. <laughs> Made that seven. Brilliant serve by the captain and Zeta dropping that ball short on Harry Jones. Harry Jones almost flat on his feet as he came in for that ball. Better ball in, where well, the ball hit the net on that hit. It was a much better pass in to give those options there. Yeah, it took a wicked deflection away from the Boswell line. <laughs> Lawrence Russell off the block of Adam and Fullerton. <laughs> as one of the players are welcome back on court here in this National Volleyball Centre. It's 69. The Yosemite is with the Boswell Blaze. And Wessex get this pass onto the head of the setter to give the options. There it is again, you see, ball in. Easily put away when they've got the options. Jump float serve, goes down the line, picks on Paul. Tops on under with the reverse. There's a big shot out block. Mandelaris and Fullerton there, combining well, take away that attack of Russell. Attack here with some combination movement. There. Chambers running in short, Russell behind. Sam Thomas had two choices which way to go. They end up being a one on one attack. Go, 
Tony Brooks has already decided her MVP on Twitter. She's going for the setter, Sam Thompson. A long way to go this game yet, still, Jade. Anything can happen. Yeah, his distribution has been good so far. Making good use, especially on the tight balls on the net. Still allowing the attackers to go. But Fullerton with the serve. Yeah. On the fall from Fullerton. It's out. Once again, it's a six so point game. Daniel Sash with the serve. It's a great set by Thompson falling the block. Van Wingerden now. There's a middle attack right. There's a combination of the two blockers and then the ball lands in. Really well worked point there from the blaze. Sach to carry on with the service. And the red of the blaze. Seven point game. Yeah. Huge block. Matt White, you heard the call. One of Darren Lewis's quotes. Be patient. Be patient. Wait and watch where that ball goes. So, Billy Ewings moved down to leave from Cardiff Celts last year. Replaces Sam Reed. Sacks misses the serve. Substitution for Boswell's plays out comes number eight, Daniel Sage. In comes number 15, Lawrence Russell. So, seven point game. Wessex with the serve. Odie Adam. That's three great kills for White. We don't have to land the side three in East line, they just got to land in. And that's what he's doing. That's helping Boswell's stretch further clear. 21-13 here. That attack going across the block. Taking it high and hard, Harry Jones. Not a lot of block could do that. Van Gallen's made that change about the middle, bringing Billy Ewings on. And as that pass comes in, they're not going to be able to draw that middle in. It's going to make it easy pickings for Boswell Blaze at the minute. So, with two wing attacks, they may have all Boswell's eat, uh, all. Wessex are using Boswell's can read it very easy, Pete. They know it's either going left or right. Unless that ball gets on the setter's head, they're not going to use the middle attack. A ten-point lead, two to go for this third set. Matt Ketley. Gets through the two-man block. The point to Wessex. Why was later going in there? He wasn't so early on there because the ball was tighter. So Mandalaris back to serve. His brother still playing over here in the UK. Joel Roberts has the option now. Takes that tip setter out. Now it's down to Ryan Paul to finish. He fires it long. Kinga is no run upon it. He tried to shape it around that block. He's put the lead to eight, but with Boswell, only two away. A dangerous situation for Wessex. So Darren Lewis looking to score for a timeout. Just want to stem the tide of the last few points that Wessex are building. 
So don't forget, send us your tweets at VWOL England, hashtag Cup Finals 2015. Let us know what you're thinking. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a huge round of applause for our volunteers in the big t-shirts and the camo pants. They are entering the desk. They've done a fantastic job all weekend. Thank you very, very much, guys. And for Kettering Cadets, our volunteers for the weekend. So both teams are ready to go again. 16-23. Mandalaris with the serve. On the left-hand side, looks to take. There's the option for Ryan Paul. He tries that cut shot. Happy with the set. Sam Thompson just double checks. That was a hitting error. Back to a six lead. Mandalaris with a serve. Wide of the right hand. Edge of the court. Set point. Well defended. Now the possible for Billy Ewing to get our ball around in there. Two good swings, both first for Billy Ewing, and then Ryan Paul straight away takes that set. 25 17. So as we see, Boswell plays for their hands in. They're going to be focused now, ready to take this game. 3 one Lost the first set, remember, 25-12. Didn't really get started. Wessex came out. The blaze of glory, effectively. And then the second two sets, Wessex pass has just been... Not what they need, unfortunately. And that hasn't allowed Adam to get his hands on that ball and distribute it well, making it easy for the block from Boswell Blaze to pick out the two wing attacks. to start this fourth setter. Ryan Paul goes off the fingertips of Oddy Adams.
That ball just dropping over the block, short, Sam Thompson. Both Harry Jones and Joel Roberts both flying for that ball. It's going to be the number 17, Ryan Paul. He's a big factor in the under 16s winning earlier. Is he going to be a big factor? Takes away the power of that jump serve of his and will it turns it to a float. Still successful. Good advantage of action taken at the back of the court there by Paul. A little bit of good serve by getting out of the way. Oh, an attempted kill shot. Too much on it. The Blaze lead by two. Paul again with the serve. <laughs> Joel Roberts not sure that ball's going in or out. To me, it looked like that was dropping in. It's great float serve. Paul does move a little bit here in the National Volleyball Centre. Paul again with the serve. Drops it short this time. Harry Jones picks it up nicely. Options for Van Wingerden. He gets through that block and inside it. To the net from Van Wingerden, ends with Fullerton back to serve. <laughs> the two-man block not making it shake right over there on the wing between Adam and Ewings. Zach Chambers, the captain from the under-16 team. First now with that left hand. Oh, the force is a short attack there for Ewing. Now there's options. Van Wingard in again. Nails that ball nicely to the centre. By three, the Blaze lead. Six. With a serve. Well washed out there. Van Wingerden turning to the team. No touch given there. Goes a goal right on top of that as the first ref. Serve, four, five. Too much on that. Long. Two-point game once again. Can't afford to be given away. Cheap points at this stage. Losing 2-1. And by 6-4. Passing unit here for Wessex. After that first set. All their way back, you saw on that point between Mandalaris and Robert. Mandalaris pulling away from it, allowing somebody else to take it. They've all got to take a bit of personal responsibility now. It's a better ball in. Off of White, Van Wingerden goes. It's usually Van Wingerden, it means is the main power player at the minute for Wessex, but they've got other hitters there. Just got to get that distribution right. Wessex back to within two, but once again, another unforced error. Miles too long on the serve. All goes long, and only reach the first technical timeout of the fourth set. Once again, it's Fox Wells Blaze, who start the sharpest in eight five. Bangalis already finished talking to his team. So half of this technical timeout ready to go. Wessex are ready to go. Quick short message then. 
And the Pozzo Blaze get ready to line up. So Team Essex are right behind. Pozzo Blaze on Twitter. We thought two teams from Essex yesterday. Tendring versus Essex in a Shield Derby match. Tendring took that. It's going to be Kelly with a serve for the Blaze. Right pull off the block. Nothing Harry Jones can do about it. Leads up to four once again. Pulling away of the blaze, just like the third set. Kelly again with a set. <laughs> Ryan Paul using this block really well. Not holding that shape, so wiping off when they're too flat. Not pressing over on him. You can see by the looks on the faces there, Van is very animated. Some of the players just taking a deep breath, trying to listen to what he's saying. Harry Jones is saying that we can do this, boys. He's got really pushed now. He's the lead break. Very vocal player on court. And they're all, as a team, going to have to step up now. Dimasis asking if the double's coming back. Very possibly. Unless Wessex find the form from their first set. Poor serve from the Blaze and Ketley. Reduces the elite of four. Very good with serves previously. This was poor into the net. Nice one and set there by Thompson. Nailed by Paul. Yeah, off the fingertips of the defense. Leads back to five. 11 6. Boswell. Had it there. Odiana oh, picked the ball up. Van der Rijn snatching off the net. Not bringing it back into court to play. Great vision by Ryan Paul. He's been very successful in the power kill shots. Goes for a more delicate tip over when it works for him. Harry Jones holding his hands up on that pass. So they make a change and Wingenden goes off. Zarski new to Leaf Academy. New from, uh, from Exeter. What can he add to this team now? Another combination. The movement of the team in red. Boswell. Wessex just aren't reading the plays. Almost a mirror image of a point. Only a couple of minutes ago. Opts in to go against the power. And using a delicate tip over. To an open court. Another point for Boswell. There's a big swing needed by Roberts then. Some good defence. Great chase there by Russell. Remarkable recovery there for the Blaze. John Roberts reading that. Second touch, one-handed. Addy and Fullerton not really combining in that middle. Not getting the height. The trajectory needs on that set for Fullerton to nail the ball. He was doing that early in that first set. And just tighten up, snatching at the set. <laughs> Oh, 
A free swing there for Ryan down the line, but he goes wide. Almost a glory hit. So Darren Lewis calls for a timeout. Darren just be asking for a little bit more discipline here from the Boswell Blaze. They've got a game plan. They're sticking to it. Ryan Paul's with the trigger on both the points here, but also distribution of Thompson. So both with a couple of one-handed sets, but they were needed at the time. Tom Ketley put his hat in the ring of a name he wants for MVP. He's going for Ryan Paul, he's only 16. It's a good shout there, Tom. Okay, so only time will tell who it is. Great double block there by Wessex. On the 17, Ryan Paul. Bringing him back to within four into double figures, they go. 10-14. Ryan Paul can be a very clever player, sometimes he gets to the power as well. Well, he's playing like this, you can't fault him. There he goes again. There's one of the little clever shots of his. Now Roberts gets a chance. Backdoor attack. Mandalaris, next pump, walks around the court and he has that backcourt attack. Power there by Paul, into the open right side court. Interesting to see the stats on Paul's attacks today. Both in this under 16 game and the under 18s. Bulletin there with a massive block. This isn't over yet, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Van Gelder said in that last time out, as well as he's working. Roberts now with the serve. Clips the tape. Time now for Wessex. Get this attack in. They pick the middle and get it. Got the cleanest off the block. Bulletin just needed a touch higher. Yeah, his dad's just gesturing, he wants a little bit more time on it as well. Got a combination behind the back of where Joel Roberts is there from. We've got the Fullertons and also the Pools there. Free swing for Nathan Fullerton, but flips the tape with his arm with a follow through. So we go to a technical timeout with a score 16 14. Would have been all square. We've got a bit too excited on that point. Both teams lined up, ready to go. The atmosphere is electric here at the National Volleyball Centre. Those watch online are the best place. If you couldn't get to Kettering, catch 
this last match of the cup final weekend. We obviously have a month left to go before we have the Super 8 finals. And then May 16, we'll have in Brentford, we'll have the Super 8 All Star competition. So do look on the Volleyball Ingram website for details of that. But we'll be here in a couple of weeks for not only the Super 8 final, but in the evening of celebration. And we have the awards show here at the National Conference Centre. Nathan Fullerton. The ball's just wide. The referee's called it for a touch. Darren Lewis urges his boys back to court. Joseph Gorgeous having a chat, just letting know only the captain to speak to the first referee. Back to two points. Fullerton serves. He gets a good serve this time. Give me an option of a free ball. Adam has to take it though. Neither team get this attack on. Now we've got options for Blaze. There's the reverse. There's the point. Lovely clean kill shot from the right side to the far left corner. Hit him three clear. Wessex needs to do better on that free ball. Even if Adam takes that first pass, they need to get an attack on there. So the table has just pressed the buzzer, just to check for either a rotation. I'll let you know what's happening as soon as the decision's made. It looks like... So let's been called. Just con conflict around the rotation. Is wrong server or not? Now the ball's drifting out by Thompson. It's got pull there as an option. Joel Roberts takes that high. Now. Azarski is his first attack. It'll be his last attack. He's going to get taken out of the game. Van Wigelen's going to come back on now. No way through. The wall of blaze. There is this sign for Van Wingerden. He gets a nice shape on it. Nothing to do with what Christoph did. It was a tight set and a big flop. We all just found the edge of it and went down the inside. Back to within three. Odie Adam with the serve for Wessex, right hand side. Way of pass. There was cries for a double contact to my left hand side there. We saw the rotation of the ball. But Ryan Ball had chance. Darren Lewis just waving his arms down, calm people down. Reduced to two. Once again, Eddie Adam. Good pressure by Wessex. Now we're going to have a chance to get. I say they're going to have a chance to get a free hit. But Sam Thompson played that ball beautifully over the net. Wessex was so late picking it up. Roberts had to dive by, even though there's no attack on it. Lovely vision, calm under pressure at this stage of the game, 20 to 17 in the fourth set. You can almost see the finish line. 25, the target by a margin of two. Currently, we've got a margin of three. Toby French agreeing with Tom Ketley regarding MVP. Again, the wall of the blaze works at the net and sends in by four. And now within four of the title. Timeout called by Wessex. Boswell Blaze just needs to play simple, error free volleyball, and the title's theirs. And that's all they've done, really, to be going through. They've used Ryan Paul massively. And then when they start to go across and use Chambers in there or go to the middle attack with White, they get the points really quickly. Yeah, the coach is on the sideline, just keeps on pointing to his head. Think about it, boys. Think about it. And telling everyone to calm down. Just play the game that's got you not only back into this game, but within four points of the title. 
So Wessex boys are back on court already. Quick shout by Van Gallis. Now it's chance for Boswell Blaze. Can they close this game out and take the under 18 title and take the double back to Essex? Tight set there by Addy. He then goes to four. A roll shot across Ketley, furious. Just turned his body, Ford just bounced off it. And Windigan. With a serve. There's that distribution in the middle again. The Roberts has a roll shot over the block. Great point for Wessex. Clever thinking by Roberts there. Yep, goal under pressure, back to a two-point game. 21-19 to the Blaze. Again, it's going to be Van Windigan on the right side. <laughs> Mandalaris went for power this time. That was off Ketney and White. With it now back to one point, Lewis calls his boys in. As a timeout, Aid Cutton, Kurt Pittman, Van Gellis work with the Wessex boys as our volunteers look after our call for us. 2021 20, Pete here in the fourth set, the final game. So what's your thoughts on the overall experience this weekend here at the Cup Finals in National Volleyball Centre? It's been an absolutely fantastic weekend. We've seen some amazing matches, teams streaking off in front and coasting it. But then we've seen some real big comebacks. One of them might be on now. Being a one set down, the Blaze. I won't say the Blaze back into it. That would be too obvious. You just did. I'm thinking out loud. But Wessex have the serve. Man Wimigan. Back to a one point game. Options. Now for. Boswell Blaze, it's a pipe attack, too short in there though. Now Roberts looks at his options, he's got two blockers, finds Libre and reads that block so well. Thompson and White both jump into that same ball, Roberts all over it, all square, 21 all. The crowd over the left are on their feet now. That's where the Wessex team are, where the Wessex fans are, the parents and the family. That's not what the doctor ordered if you're a Wessex fan. Cheap point given away into the net from the serve. Boswell. There's a gasp as that ball went in the net. Boswell's just edge in front again. 22 21. Serve by Ketley. So that hit there by Roberts as he used it, hit the antenna. Roberts claiming it came off the block. Two points required for the title. Billy again. Pressure might have got through there, into the net, back to the one point. Holds the big head. The big structure of oh, Nathan Fullerton comes back on the middle. Can he provide some of those shutout blocks to get Wessex back in this? Billy Ewing serves. Floats that ball tight on the Marlin King. It's going to be a free ball coming over. They go to the reverse, and out of play, off the hand of Ryan Paul. Mandalaris uses it well. We tied at 23. Billy Ewing's again serving. Billy Ewing serves long. That gives back and championship points. Championship point for Boswell Blaze. Boswell family cheering early as they thought the ball had won. Paul has the chance, but it's a massive block by Fullerton. How the crowd changed here. Boswell's up on their feet halfway through the point. Now Wessex on my left hand side are up on their feet. What a big block by Fullerton. Yeah, 
Really the point on who's going to have a set point after this. It's pulled through the inside of the block. Match point number two. Composure now, the captain and setter, Sam Thompson, been brilliant so far today. Can he help his team to the title? Roberts takes that free hit. It's tipped over, Ryan Poole with the finishing touch there. The Boswell's crowd in front of me, they're ecstatic. Celebrations not only on the Boswell side of the court, but also in this stand in front of our commentary position as the two teams cross under the net. Very sportsmanlike behaviour, shaking hands between the two sets of players and Boswell as well. Coming back from that first set, it really looked like that Wessex were really on top of the whole match, but they came back and dominated. Yeah, it was a brilliant end to the game. So close, so tense all the way around. You hear the roar, that was the roar of Sam Thompson there. The captain, the setter. This is his final under 18 game for Boswell plays. A couple of these guys will be moving on. Lawrence Russell as well, this is his final game. But you think about it, there's quite a few in this squad that still got more time ahead. Darren Lewis, again, can be very proud of himself and the rest of the team have done there at Boswell Blaze. The whole setup they've got has been absolutely brilliant. Likewise, the boys in black, commiserations to them, there are tears amongst them all. But what a final to end this weekend here at the National Volleyball Centre. We'll be getting ready for the presentation very shortly. And we'll hopefully grab Darren Lewis and the skipper, hopefully Sam Thompson, for a quick chat live on here. So do stay tuned and We'll be back in a moment. So while we're waiting for the presentation, there's been a few conversations on Twitter regarding the MVP. Now this is going to be done by all the stats, but please, Send your details through now. Who do you feel is your MVP for this match? At VBall England, hashtag Cup Finals 2015. Anybody that's watching there, send us who you think it is and see if you agree with what the stats say and the decision being made. Early runners. Early runners in here are going to be the setter Sam Thompson, Ryan Poole, are the two that have been talked about quite a bit. Ryan Paul just 16 years old playing in the under 18s. And the setter. Joel Robbins had a steady game. But was it enough to get him the MVP? So do tweet us, let us know your answer while we get ready for this presentation. And we'll see if you're right. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the trophy presentation party for the under 18s men's championship. Paul Mohan, Competitions Commission's President of the Volleyball Olympics. Second referee, Martin Sh 
Shakespeare. Next to receive their silver medals, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the National Cup runners up for Wessex Leaf, captain number 10, Ollie Madden. Number 16, Harry Jones. Number 1, Will Van Wagen. Number 2, Billy Hewitt. Number three, Nathan Fullerton. Number four, Sam Reed. Number seven, Tom Allen. Number eight, Christoph Ozarski. Number nine, Dominic Wisdom. Number 11, Joel Morris. Number 13, Angelos Vatavaris. Number 14, Andres Moscovitz. And the coach, Vangelis Kutulius. Ladies and gentlemen, please, and one more time, the under-18 men's national club runners at Wessex League. Now to receive the gold medals as champions, Boswell's Blaze, captain number six, Sam Thompson. Number 19, Marlon King. Number nine, George Hayden. Number three, Matt White. Number four, Matt Kepley. Number seven, Zach Chambers. Number eight, Daniel Sitch. Number 10, Jack Arnold. Number 11, Cameron Schultz. Number 12, Rich Ferguson. Number 15, Lawrence Russell. Number 17, Ryan Poole. <laughs> Assistant coach, Rachel Mabel. <laughs> Assistant coach, Rebecca Saunders. <laughs> Team manager, Sarah Heaton. of Boswell's Blaze, Darren Lewis. <laughs> now all of the players have received their medals, so before we award the trophy, it is time to announce the Under-18 Cup Final MVP. The most valuable player is Boswell's Blaze, number 17, Ryan Paul. <laughs> now, could Captain Sam Thompson and the rest of the team please go and collect the trophy? Ladies and gentlemen, be sure your appreciation for the both teams for an incredible final. And it gives me great pleasure now to present to you the under-18 men national champions.
Kettering on the Saturday. Tendering, Ashcombe Dorkin, Team Northumbria and Team Northumbria taking the prizes. And today, under 16 girls was won by the Academy of Beach Sports. Under 16 boys, the Boswell Blaze. Under 18 women, Tame side, and as you've just seen, the under 18s men, the Boswell Blaze, collecting their trophy. Been a fantastic event, very well supported. I hope you've all enjoyed this online streaming. Please send your tweets through to Cup Finals 2015 at V Ball England. Highlights of the weekend's action will be on the Volleyball England website on their YouTube channel early next week. Stick around on this broadcast because we'll be giving you an interview in the coming minutes with my co-commentator Mark Perkins. We'll be interviewing the coach and a couple of players from the victorious Boswell's Blaze. That's going to happen very, very shortly. They're just setting up right now. OK, so you join us hot off the court with the winning captain and the winning coach. I think I'm getting used to seeing you guys in red up here as well. So first of all, congratulations. What an absolute epic battle. So Sam, come to you first. Final under-18 competition for you. After that first set, Wessex came out all guns blazing. Right, that using the pun of your name there. What were your thoughts and what happened to change that game around? I don't know. Um, we just, first set was a bit of a whitewash, I'm not going to lie. Uh, they did take it to us pretty heavy handed. Um, good uh, good uh, talk after the first set, quite a, <laughs> quite a motivating uh, speech. And uh, I think we, could, we, we knew, we, we knew we Wessex were going to be, a, Wessex Leaf were going to be a strong opposition. Um, we knew we'd have to play our best to beat them, and that's what we did. So after that first set, we knew it was all or nothing. So I think that's how we, we just had to go full out to win that match. So you earned all your money effectively on that game there for yourself, having to manage it from that first set and turn around the mentality. But by forcing that, what did you see in Wessex as a weakness? Because it seems that the serve stopped and they didn't use the middle anymore. Listen, the first set was my mistake. Um, I went with a different six, different rotation. I, I, I had the opposite in middle. And I, was, I was probably overcomplicating things. So the second set, we went back to fundamentals. We, we put our, we changed our P1. I passed a hit to one and two, flipped our opposite back into middle and middle out to opposite where we should have started. And it, it just caused great instability. So I had to hold my hands up for that first set. And so I think, you know, we were set up properly from the, there on in. Um, and, um, you know, th this guy here, phenomenal. You know. My MVP, you know, he set with such tempo, with such calmness and poise in his decision making. That's the best I've seen his decision making. And although this isn't his last game, we come back and play these guys in three weeks' time. Yeah, yeah so we're really looking forward to in the yeah in the cup, and, and we're we're really looking forward to the Grand Prix because we didn't do great in it last year, Sam. We were a bit injured. Uh, semi, semi yeah, last yeah, and and so we, we feel like you know we still got some work to do because uh, we don't settle, settle on our laurels, and uh, you know we'll get back in. I'll give him a couple of weeks off because it's Easter, and then we'll be back hard in the sports hall again, looking to to go out there and, and do another good performance. But honestly, I, I found that quite easy to coach because these guys are so mature now. Honestly, I, I may look stressed on the sideline, but they know what they're doing now. 
You know, with the 16s, it's a little bit different, but these guys, you know, they, they, they're, they're technically smart, and I was so pleased for him because he's, this guy's worked so hard, so hard. Well, needless to say, the Darren Lewis quote handbook has got bigger and bigger. Will, Rob Will Roberts has been joining in. Oh, it? it has been going glow. Uh, we've had also Toby French, Tom Kelly get involved. Oh. So uh, it, in the Darren Lewis uh, quote handbook. So obviously on the sidelines, you're going to get this question in a minute, don't worry. The under-16s regenerated this whole quote book about patience, whole time, ma young man. Anyway, so just regarding that, I think I spent too long with you now, Darren. But Thinking about the actions you've took there, going th forward to the Grand Prix, okay? You've made those decisions almost like the Russia switch in the Olympics, moving that around. Yeah. What about Ryan Paul, of the 16, of what his performance was today? I know he got the man in the match and agree, it could have split either way. But how, j how is he to play with uh, such a young talent? Uh, I like playing with Ryan. Um, more the fact he's, he's just got quite a calmness about him and he, he doesn't get too like, worked up about certain stuff. <coughs> um, He's got quite a bit of swagger on court, and I think when, when we're in pressure situations, when he's got that calmness, it allows us to side out easier. Uh, so, yeah, he's a good player. We'll just talk, talk about swagger on court, and you'll get some, probably not abuse, but you'll get some comments on Twitter by your friends about your celebrations. Um, so one of the reasons why you got nominated on Twitter was about your celebrations and stuff as well, and then some said no because of the celebrations. Darren, final point to you then. Okay, a lot going on. Yeah. There's also a lot of tweets coming through about the whole culture in Essex and the people coming through. What is it about that area that you can nurture all these people from all around to bring in to such a level that you've got and you've shown here today? Uh, I, I think Boswell is a really special place. We, we have people travelling down to not from Nottingham, from London to come and play with us because when you, as soon as you walk into the sports of Boswell is, a, a, is an area of excellence, you know, and, and this, you know, this is our 19th national title now, and, and players, players are understand it's a performance program, we try and look after these athletes, we try and make them, uh, make them feel special, um, and every time we come to big finals, you know, they, ne they never let us down, you know, and, um, you know, for, for Ryan Paul, going back to Ryan Paul, to play two games like that, back to back, and Zach, Zach Chambers yeah, yeah, as well, yeah, yeah. To, go, to do that, to mentally engage, that's a f phenomenal, phenomenal thing for him to do, and, you know, he did well to get the MVP today um, but you know I'm, I'm blessed that I've got good athletes I'm blessed that I've got a great program I've got a good headmaster that supports us and and what we want to do in Essex is take volleyball to the next level that's what, what, what we're all about you know trying to improve and every time I get an under 18 performance I look at it and think I'm gonna get that better next time and, th and that's what it's all about you know um, we don't want to settle on our laurels we you know ultimately as a national team coach you know I want to see us beating Nev so I want to speak in the Swedens Norways and Denmark's and there's a lot of good English talent out there tonight yeah, yeah. and I was really really pleased not just on Boswell's and West and we take our hats off to Essex because yeah, yeah. they're an outstanding team. was a group of outstanding players. We just had a, a little bit more edge about us today. Okay, so he did give you some time off over Easter. It's on camera, it's online, we all heard it. Uh, so go and enjoy the rest of the celebrations. Get with the rest of the boys, have a great time. We'll see you back here for the Grand Prix Finals. All right, well done, boys. Good stuff, well done. Well done.